As you know, my name is Kainton the Genius, and today I'm going to be showing you how to solve a linear programming problem in Python step by step with no step skips. So there are basically five steps to follow to solve a linear programming problem. So in this case, we have maximize the function 3x plus y subject to the following constraints. 0 is less than or equal to x, i is less than or equal to 1, 0 is less than or equal to x, is less than or equal to 2, x plus y equal to, uh, is less than or equal to 2. So there are a number of things you need to do first. First, you need to identify the objective function, and this is it. This is step one of the identify the objective function. Step two, identify your variables. In this case, we have x and y. Step three, identify the kind of problem. In this case, it's a maximization problem. And finally, identify your constraints, and there are about three constraints. So once you do this, we are ready to go. So these steps are outlined in my uh, website, in my website, and also in another video. You can check it in the des description box. So these are the steps, the steps to follow to solve the problem. I don't mean the steps I already outlined to uh, to uh, understand the problem. This case now is a step to solve the problem in Python. So let's go ahead to do it one by one. So we have a uh, a module called Linear Solver. You need to import. So to do that, you need to first, uh, in your terminal, you need to install uh, all our tools, if I think I get the name correctly. So let me just open my terminal. So this is my terminal. And I can just open a new, um, I think I can open a new tab. All right. So you are going to say pip install all our tools. So you need to do this uh pip install or tools i already did it but let me just do it one more time before you'll be able to use linear solver so you can see the requirement already satisfied so you need to do it for you to have a linear solver available for you for linear programming all right let's now do this let's solve this problem one by one so let's take the first step i'm going to say from or tools or tools dot linear solver imports py wrap lp so this is basically uh, a wrapper to use a code a function written in c plus plus so i'm not going to spend time to explain this because the, the solver is actually written in c plus plus so there's a wrapper uh that is made that makes it available for python so I'm going to run this code. This is fine. So this is step one. Step two, we need to create our variables x and y. I'm going to say solver. Uh, sorry, we, we also need to do solver. Solver is equal to py wrap lp wrap lp dot solver dot create solver. Oh, so this is going to be GLOP Google Linear Programming Optimizer Google Linear Optimizer so this is what you're gonna do okay so this is step one we've done let me just remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed so that you don't miss any update from me uh, or, or, or videos like this for mathematics software engineering application development anything you can think of just let me know all right so we are going to now create our variables x and y to do that I'm gonna say x equal to solver dot number number uh, x is between 0 and 1 and the variable is x all right all right so this means that this variable x has between 0 and 1 so we have an implicit constraint here that says x is between 0 and 1 so if you look at the problem you can see uh, the constraint here is implicitly specified uh, in this code right here. So you're going to do the same thing for y. y is equal to solver the number variable, basically number variable uh, between 0 and 1, between 0 and 2 this time, and the variable is y, all right? And if you look at this, you have y is between 0 and 2, so we can do that's very easy. So I'm just going to kind of print all this variable on the screen. So I'm going to say number of variables, number of variables is, I'm going to specify solver.num variables. 
All right, so I'm going to just run this by using shift. So we have, we have number of variables tool. So this is basically a simple problem. So we've done step two, which is create uh, the variables X and Y. And now step three says create the constraint X plus Y is less than or equal to two. X plus Y is less than or equal to two. So basically zero is less than or equal to X plus Y is less than or equal to two. So let's create this constraint. So I'm going to say CT. So I'm going to create a, a, a constraint variable called CT is equal to solver dot constraint so ct holds all our constraints so you are going to space you have to specify your constraint in a variable i specify it as in this case um solver dot constraint between zero and two and ct all right okay so so I'm going to say ct dot. So what? So what does this mean? So this means that we are creating the constraint that the function has a value of between zero and two. All right. So this is what this uh, this constraint says. So this is a, I just specified this right here. Okay. Because this constraint already I understand that your variables are x and y. So the next thing I want to do now is to specify the coefficients of those of x and y. So I'm going to set coefficient coef, coefficient for x to uh, coefficient for x to be one, and I'm going to uh, set the coefficient for y to be coefficient for y to be one as well. Okay, so I've set my coefficient, so I'm going to run this cell. Um, Solver.set coefficient. Okay, so I think our uh, solver object has no attribute const uh, constraint, so I have an error here. So I'm going to just rerun. Uh, let's see, so ct is equal to solver.constraint02. Solver dot constraints. Oh, why is not defined? Okay, so you can see I have this error here. So I'm going to just start from beginning to run, run, run. Okay. All right. So we specified our constraint. The next thing I want to do now is to define my objective function f of x and y is equal to three x plus y. <coughs> so to do that, I'm going to specify a variable called objective. Of course, you can give it any name. You can call it objective func or objective function or whatever. But I want to call it objective. I'm going to create it as uh, solver dot objective. All right. So I specify this objective function, and now I'm going to assign the actual values of this function, like three x plus y. So I'm going to say. Okay, right now, so I'm going to set the coefficient for the function. So I'm going to say objective, objective dot set coefficients. So we have the, the coefficient for x is 3. So I'm going to say x, 3, and sorry, I'm just making this error. Coefficient for x is 3, and I'm going to do the same thing for y objective dot set coefficient in this case coefficient for y should be one if i'm not mistaken so we can see our coefficient for y is one and i'm going to set the problem type to be a maximization problem so i'm going to say objective dot set maximization all right, so let me run this. Yeah, so I think it should be fine. And finally, I want to now invoke the solver and then display the results of this problem. So I'm going to say solver.solve and just do it. Just print out a few things. I'm going to print out solution and let's put this. And I'm also going to print out objective 
objective value equals so I'm going to just say objective dot value gives us a value of the objective function given the solution to the problem so I'm also going to say print let me just print out x and y x is equal to x is equal to x dot solution value and do the same thing for y i'm going to print out the val the solution the value for the the solution for the y variable y dot solution value okay so sometimes i have these errors all right so we can see that we have the solution the objective function value is 4 and the solution uh, or x and y value that is going to maximize this function is x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 so this is basically how to do linear programming in python so let's take another example so uh let me let me just go to this another example i'd like to show you that i was kind of solving but not with python so if i go here hello my name is so this is my uh, my uh, channel so we can solve this problem in the next video but i'd like to uh, recommend you try it yourself try to solve it yourself is in my channel uh, by me so this we are going to solve in python using the same method i'm going to stop here i'd like to thank you for viewing please uh, remember to subscribe like and share this video and if you have any challenges please let me know in the comments box below i remain kind on the tech pro and i'm always there for you